go. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? I wanted to make this video and welcome to my channel, first of all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Melanated Minimalist. I am your girl, Lisa, and I am coming to you to share a, a message. Um, lately, I've been um, on a couple other, well, one particular person's podcast, shout out to Erica Williams, and really been learning a lot about this big thing that's going on, and that's the cost of living. Um, apartments, uh, people are living in apartments. Some have been living in 25, 35 years, and their landlords are finally saying, hey, enough is enough. We're gonna sell this off, and um, so sorry. We gotta find another place to live. Now, what I'm finding is, again, is there are people who are unprepared for this type of situation. Either they were retired um, and they lack any form of retirement or what have you, or something has happened. Another thing, even when people are living in an apartment less than a few years, when their landlords come and say, we're selling the apartment, and they might have two, three, four children, no family, nobody to lean on, or an older woman who doesn't have anybody but herself now. And when I was watching this uh, take place on a couple of videos that Erica showed, it was most all women. And so they said the highest um, number of homelessness, or at least without uh, anybody, is women. Sing single mothers are the highest, okay? You might not see it, but it, I mean, they're single men, but I tell people all the time, a man can literally restart his life in six months if he has a car, because he can, you know, get along, get where he needs to go. Works 12 to 15 hours a week, a day, I'm sorry, 12 to 15 hours a day. And if he does it right, he can put himself right back up on the map uh, within six months. This is true. They've done studies on it. Women, on the other hand, normally don't. One, because women's bodies are built differently. You know, we can work, 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 but eventually our bodies are gonna get really, really exhausted. And one is because we're built, not built for that much labor, okay? You know, we can build a computer all day, but after a while your brain gets tired. So it's just some statistical thing, but we'll talk about that later. Just know you're not built like a man. If you're a woman, you're not a man, okay? Um, the testosterone, we don't have, we have estrogen. It's a whole nother scientific stuff with that. You know, even athletes, you know, competing we can't p compete against a man and think we will win in a in a race unless the man is you know severely unconditioned I'm talking about a generally high-performing athlete another high-performing athlete athletic woman the man will always come on top so anyway um let's get back to the business so the rent prices are going up and people are complaining here's the thing people got very very comfortable during the pandemic because we were getting anywhere from what, 600 plus dollars plus your base of your unemployment, like $800 a week. People had never seen that much money. And remember, everything's a mental. If you mentally unprepared to keep money, just like a person who, um, oh God, it's a wall right here. Just like a person who wins the lottery. If they're not mentally prepared to uh, handle that amount of money, how to use it, where to distribute, how to put it somewhere so it won't just all go away, they will lose it. That's what the, um, the thing is, <clears throat> if you put, you give money to 10 multimillionaires, and they've been doing it for years as a multimillionaire, the money will always circle back to them, okay? Even if they lose it all, it always come back. You give uh, uh, millions of dollars to a poor person who's never had any money, they lose it. So it's all a mental thing. So I'm here just to encourage you all if you are in a situation where you're unsure, please, please go get some certification, go get some new skill sets. I'm going to preach this on every episode, every channel time you get with me, you got to get a new skill set. It's because what it does, it puts you in a different arena. So if you were only making $35,000 a year, which is the average for Americans, I think the black male is 40 average 40,000 compared to other cultures um you make only $35,000 and then you got certified in a particular field like IT or in the medical field 
Do you know, did you know that you literally can go and make upwards from 50, 60, 75 to 100 dollars? Um, 75 by getting certain certifications, guys. We're talking about going from making $12 an hour to about $20 an hour to $25, $30 and on up. So we're talking about people who are literally taking themselves out of the trajectory of being broke or being poor by simply signing up for a certification uh, a certification that will get them to the next level. It is what it is. Everybody can't be a business owner. Everybody don't want to be a business owner. And that's what I love about Erica Williams. She, she, she teaches us. Everybody's not going to own a business, but you can get a decent salary and work. <laughs> and then that money you can use to get yourself, if you're in debt, get out of it. And then go and purchase some real estate. You know? or learn skill sets on real estate, okay? And I'm saying this because everyone has done studies over studies over studies. The top three ways to be wealthy. One, own a business. Two, real estate. Three, stocks or other investments that revolve that. So, this is, this is truly where you have to open your eyes and really see what it's like to live in America. And literally, we have people who are losing their place. It's not a house, because it's not a house. It's an apartment, most of these apartments. And some are motels, y'all. Some people have lived in motels for weeks or years or months, I don't know. And they're literally getting put out of the motel. And they're begging to say they're doing protests, they're doing all kinds of stuff. But what I'm trying to think is, for what? During this time, not one time did you even think I might be considered to keep my job or keep a job consistently so I can go to NACA, um, USDA.gov, which you might not know about. You know, we only know because we explore. And the reason why I love the classic climbers and all that is I'm a nerd at heart too. <laughs> and it's kind of nerdy to listen to documentaries or factual things, statistical and numbers, because people think, oh, that's so boring. I want to listen to stuff about um, people getting into trouble on affairs and twerking and all that in, in a celebrity's mess. Yeah, you like that. It's called celebrity junk. A guy made a whole channel on it because he knew, especially in our community, we love stuff like that. So he's making a fortune, believe it or not. <laughs> Small fortune, but it don't matter. Still money. Based on our lack of wanting a desire to want to know truth. So this is the truth. If you don't develop into a better person, in a sense of more monies to be had, because there's certifications out there that can get you to the next level, and you decide to stay at your lower paying job, or you decide that, you know you got comfortable, and you're okay with living in a, an environment that probably not produce the best. Remember, your children are in an environment, and whatever environment you put them in is how they're gonna grow. So if you're in an area where you want to have cheap rent, and you know without a shadow of a doubt, it's not a good area. What are you doing to change it? And for yourself, if you're in a, a not good area, and you know it's not, you just know you like cheap rent, especially our females, be careful. You better figure this out. Figure it out. Figure it out and know that you deserve the best. You know, if you're a single person, and you're on list and watching my videos, man, you deserve the best. Don't put yourself in situations because you're trying to save some money. I mean, yeah, I've, I've done the um, community housing and all that good stuff, so I get that, you know? I house hacked, uh -huh. but I ain't put myself in no dangerous <laughs> situation. Only one apartment I think was on that, that level was when I first moved here. And, and it still was a beautiful, meaning that was a really lovely looking apartment inside. But outside, oh, the environment probably wasn't the best. But at that time I was like, okay, let me just get something nice. Not too, you know, maybe not the best place. 
And I, I spent like $700 on two bedroom, two bath. Inside was decked out, it was beautiful. But the environment on the other side was not as desirable because it just wasn't. People were playing loud music, people were doing all kinds of stuff. Um, and yeah, I did that for a year and after that, that was it. So I would say this, the environment is everything. Don't put yourself in situations where you stay in somewhere to save a bunch of money and you haven't even worked on yourself. You haven't got a better job. Now I ain't telling you go get a college degree. That might not be the best because that, that might require you to have some loans out. Unless your job paying for it, like I told y'all, don't do it. Unless you're going to become a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, or an engineer. Those are the four top, of, um, four top um, occupations to go back to school for, go to college for. Other than that, honey, don't do it. Be very careful. Be very careful. Oh, I tell y'all all all the time. You got to know which way to go. And Yeah. Okay. You can start coming here. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> um, sorry guys, this is my neighborhood. We are doing a little small uh, 4th of July parade. It's going to be amazing. You know, something small, but I'm, I'm headed to work. I get time and a half today, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Um, again, remember, I said if you can work, work. Nothing is free. I'm still a single woman. Um, and so for me, I got to do what I got to do. And I just encourage y'all to do what you got to do. Don't kill yourself, but then again, don't put yourself in a situation where it's not the healthiest. Now, even if you got to do some, like I say, I work at a hotel, so I get discounts on rooms. Even if you got to find places where you can get discounts, Oh, you get a free meal from the restaurant and tell you why you're studying that uh, certification, do it. You know why? Because you're able to still do the, what you got to do. And you're going to get some benefits. And then when that certification gets popping, you get your resume from LinkedIn, which I'm going to do. Get a resume. Now, get a resume from Fiverr. Let them pop it up. Put it on LinkedIn. I have to get your certification. Get whatever you got to get. And then pop it up on uh, LinkedIn. Have your resume ready, electronically and physically. And guess what? You're gonna be winning. But until you do, keep working, keep growing, and don't give up. Peace.